Elite Landscapes Life Stories Sit back Get comfortable and Watch us work And I don't mean Just do a little A little bit of work Ha! <laughs> That's not how we roll No sir We jump right in Get down and dirty And do it 100% Elite Landscapes style. I don't know how you boys do it, but uh, I don't pay to go to the gym. I get paid all day to work out, and it pays off. Let's do this, boys. Young, strong, full of ambition, kinda. How about we're grandparents? We've been doing this for a long, long time, and uh, I don't know how to stop. I ain't never gonna stop. So uh, sit back and enjoy this video. All right, Monday morning. We're here on site at the castle again. Got everybody here to help. Got the soulmate. Got the birthday boy. My man Dalton's birthday. You're 19. And Ian, who's been here since Saturday morning with me. Today is chaos. All right, I got like probably eight or nine different contractors parked up in this driveway right now. And we, uh, just had to back up a big dump truck back there but we're situated and um the boys had their marching orders on blowing and such a girl here she has trailer duty and mulching unloading first and uh i'm gonna grab the chainsaw remove some bushes over here we need to take out and uh yeah let it all begin monday morning it doesn't feel like Monday morning. Nah. I think past Friday was my Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. So today's Wednesday for me. Long week. Let's talk about vines. You guys love all the effort and strength it takes to remove vines of any kind. Off of anything. As you know from being out here, those vines will take over and just destroy landscapes and trees and bushes, choke them out. So, this has been a long time coming, getting all this cleaned up here. And yeah, it got me breathing hard for sure. Uh-uh. Yeah. Just get where you can, whatever's there, make sure it's all cleaned out. Man, vines are crazy, man. They had taken over this juniper, that holly tree, just taken over. Look how big they are. Tell you what, boys, if you ever get into this kind of vine maintenance around windows and gutters, you better not cut the wrong vine. If you do, you could destroy 20 years of growth in one snip. All right, got all that taken care of. All those vines here. Walk over here, look at this. All right, did a lot of trimming. Pulled all those vines out. Bunch of tarp loads of trash. Uh, bushes cut out, removed. And now it's time to start mulching. Let's do it. The wind will carry the pollination and the seeds, the whole process, all over the place from these vines. They just spread and spread. I, I find them up on the neighbor's property. I find them up in the other mansion up on top of the hill. 
these vines, man, they're beautiful, but wow. It takes a lot of time, a lot of strength to get all this cleaned up and keep it manicured. Here we are, it's where we left off yesterday, mulching that hill. All that trimming took about two hours cleaning up and everything, prepping the beds. We got 15 scoops of dye brown mulch. Hi boys, my girl's got a work cut out for her today. We got a nice lawn dump truck load and uh, a lot of spots to fill. <laughs> Starting over there, work our way down here, out to the road, and that way all the work that's getting done here right now can continue and we won't be in the way and they won't be cleaning stuff up on our fresh mulch. So that's the plan. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday, we threw out 20 scoops. And uh, just for reference, a scoop is a yard and a quarter. So you guys can do the math. I have not done it yet. I will have it all figured out by the time the last video is done. And I'll let you guys know how much labor was involved and a breakdown on this job. Because I know that, you know, walking into situations like this, this size, it's not easy to, to bid on. What are you going to do? Walk around and measure every single bed and are you gonna price it at three inches thick everywhere nah not on this kind of stuff boys the um the beds are different sometimes beds are close to where everybody looks at and they have to be nice and thick and plush sometimes beds are far away where no one's ever going to walk around and it just needs a nice fresh paint job because there's already three inches of mulch there. So you're just basically putting a fresh paint job on these big, huge apron beds that surround this property. Not sure if we uh, prefer working out of a dump truck or a trailer. My personal preference is a trailer. I don't like using big trucks. Been there, done that. Yeah, I like to keep stuff a little bit smaller and much more simple. This may look a little chaotic, but it's not. Everybody knows what they're doing. You see Ian, you see Dalton, you see me. Ian's against the push line. Dalton's coming across behind him. And then I follow up on the edges and make sure it's all looking nice and tight. It's all thick enough where it needs to be thick. I'm telling you guys, teamwork is important. But if there's no strategy on your attack on these big jobs, you'll just be having a headache all day long. Everybody knows what they're doing. And we get all covered complete where no one's having to go back to where we've already been and catch anybody else's slack. Because there is no slack. We don't slack here. That's why we use the dyed brown mulch. Because the dyed brown mulch makes everything pop. Because boxwoods are nice and green against it. The barberries are nice and crimson red against it. The blue spruces just pop that blue. I'm telling you, dye brown mulch is where it's at. It lasts all year round. It doesn't fade out with the sun and turn all gray and dead looking. 
and it doesn't show tree trash. The black dyed mulch shows a lot of tree trash. I'm not a big fan of dyed black, and I don't recommend it. Now look, there's everybody working together. See the boys, they got like four, six feet width that they cover. Like I said, I come behind them on the edge. Make sure it's all done right. By now, you guys are sitting there shaking your head, thinking how stupid I am. Why didn't that fool just dump that dump truck and shovel from the ground? Why take all the effort? All right, here you go. I can't dump dyed brown mulch onto artscape paved driveways. If you do, when the job's done, you'll be going to get your pressure washer or even worse, go rent one out of your own pocket and then come back on your own time and effort and pressure wash that big stain mark that you just dumped all over the nice driveway that they spent, I don't know, $85,000 to put in. Yeah, we'll just work it out of the trailer, boys. Keep everything nice and neat. I don't like causing extra cleanups for myself, especially ones that cost money. This mulch is wet, real heavy, and honestly, as soon as I opened that gate, it smelled like a cow pasture just landed on my chest. Yeah. Not my favorite mulch. I prefer a different supplier, but hey, dive around mulch, dive around mulch. It all spreads and all looks beautiful. I ain't gonna complain too much. Yeah, it's official by now, and I remember why. I honestly hate, hate using big trucks. It is so inconvenient in most situations, except for construction sites, honestly. So, at one time, back in my 20s when I had my tree business I was driving around a 86 International 14 speed bucket truck with dual tandem axles on the back of it and a 75 foot lift on it I was 26 years old CDL license and all tell you what man as soon as I got done with that tree business adventure I stayed away from big equipment all around. I'm not a big fan. The biggest thing I'll go get, skid steer or a little mini X for some hard escaping. Yep, dump trucks. Mm. Yeah, the little spaces. Yep. Yep, sure do. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna grab the weed eater and hit this edge with the weed eater. What? Nah, I won't. I'll hook it up. And I'm, I'm hitting a fresh edge anyways with my mulch behind you, so. Yeah. Check this out. It looks like a building site for another mansion that Elite Landscapes wind up taking care of in the cul-de-sac. 
So here's the edges here, man. No one's ever gonna walk over here and look at it. So I'm not gonna spade edge this. We keep it nice and crispy edge with a weed eater every week. And the only places I'll put a deep edge is out there where it meets the driveway about the first 10 feet in all directions. And that way when people are walking or driving by the driveway, see right here, they'll see a nice deep edge right there on the right and a deep edge on the left. They're not really paying for fresh edges. We're just getting paid to make this place look beautiful. There wasn't much specifics when we started this job, but I knew everything had to be perfect by the time we finished Tuesday night. Now, if you looked at my video of us coming back up the East Coast, our last day of traveling, that text message that came in, that was this job. That was Thursday morning. I woke up in Georgia and I got the orders that this whole place had to be done, spick and span perfect by Tuesday night. All hands on deck. And so far so good on schedule. Now these edges here, they're, they, they stay crispy, man. I mean, I've been hitting these edges for years, nice and hard with that weed eater every week. That way I don't have to take a lot of time and effort just a few spots here and there, like we talked about, and it's good to go. Mulching like this makes me miss cutting grass. <laughs> Two weeks ago I was burnt out. Three days of mulching. I can't wait to get back out there and cut grass. <laughs> you forget how hard this stuff is. Last mulching job I did was probably May, eh, maybe June. Yeah, June, that first video. No, second video we had was a big mulch job on one of our new properties. So make sure you go back and catch that one. I've been looking at that building site for the last two weeks when they started it. It's not gonna be an easy property to maintain being on that extreme slope that it's on but that's all right i'm still looking forward to it there's still one or two more lots available out here so good stuff man good stuff the neighborhood grows and the company grows as long as i continue to provide this elite service and the attention to detail that I give them each week that we're out here, each job that we do. So we already ate lunch. It is actually about seven o'clock right now. And we're trying our best to get this mulch off this trailer. There was just so much prepping and trimming and so much work involved getting this place ready to actually put the mulch down today. And I knew it was going to be like that, but we're out here late. And everybody's cool with it. Even Dalton on his birthday, he's cool with it. I told him I was going to go ahead and give him the $20 an hour rate for his birthday pay. <laughs> he liked that. So, these beds right here. They got all redone a couple years ago because the shrubs and bushes that were in here got way too big. And the stuff that's here now looks pretty good. I'm liking it. Looks nice. Clean. All right, it's getting late now. All this got freshly edged, you can see that. But now you see these lights coming on in the property. Cul-de-sac's got the street lamps going on, but we are definitely into the night on this one. And finally, we get to the end, and we can't see. It's time to load those last wheelbarrows up and get this truck ready to rock and roll. We have one scoop left. 
One scoop left in the truck. Mission accomplished. We'll be back tomorrow with a full trailer load again. Peace. LA Landscapes. Life Stories.